It's irretrievable. You know, in my tennis games, I was known as one who would just not give up on impossible balls. You know, I would make a supreme effort and get it over the net. And when I see my Lord, he doesn't call anything lost. Is so when I see this young man returning to the Father, I will arise. My dear friends, when did you lose that I will? When did you lose that part of you which says this nail should be hit on the head and not elsewhere. I can't miss the head by an inch or two. I've got to drive this nail in which means I hit it on its head. You mean to say you have lost that? You know, there is, in the extreme situations of life, there is an I will arise and go to my Father. Never lose that. Let it come right into your heart. I will. Not that my will is going to do everything, but where am I talking? What am I talking about? I will go to my father. You know, this is what was very disappointing to me, that in an important game, you know, in a competitive match or game, uh, I could get my will functioning, get the ball into the goal, or get the ball where it can be shot in. I could function in a game, but when it came to temptation, I collapsed. I couldn't function. And I said, this will not do. So, when eventually I said, I will go to my father. It was done. It was done. I will go to my father. And how did the father meet him? Hey, son, at long last you thought about coming back to me? After squandering all my wealth and making my name to be dragged in the sewers. This is when you came to yourself, did you? Okay then. Maybe you will take that last seat down the hallway at my table. No. The father fell on his neck and kissed him as though he was the most precious thing that he could ever collect into his arms, fell on his neck and kissed him. And he said, bring the ring, bring the ring, the authority of sonship. Put it on him, bring the best robe. Now let him be girded with the right kind of shoes. There is a work for him to do. Even his shoes should be the right ones. My dear friends, how helpless we feel when we are stricken in our feet. You know, the devil hits you on your feet so that you don't, you can't take the message to others. How terrible. You see, if all the people who went to the bridge in Minneapolis 
stood around as spectators. And nobody ventured into the waters or ran up some of those ramps and said, hey, I'm going to pull them out of the water. I'm going to rescue these dying people. If they had no feet to all their nice looks. You know, sometimes we specialize in looks only. There's no feet to it. There's no truth to it. Nothing to it. Just the looks. Nice church people. Or something like that. They have the looks and nothing to it. No, he wanted his son back fully functional, getting the job done, getting to the lost, lifting them and retrieving the irretrievable. That's the father. That's the father. That is his love. That's the cross of Jesus. That is his love. What is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you visit him? Let us pray. Loving Father, what is man? What is man? Strutting around for a fleeting moment. Talking big, pure hot air, and resisting your love. What is man? We come to you. Help us, Lord, to yield to that love, to seek you with all our heart. Because you are seeking us. Oh Lord, we thank you again that you died in our place to pay the ransom for a wretch like me. We thank you. So bless these dear people, every one of them the boys and the girls, the children. So help us to get into irretrievable situations and see that the cross of Jesus, the love of Jesus prevails. So help us in Jesus' holy name. Amen. This program is brought to you by the Layman's Evangelical Fellowship International, an interdenominational missionary and prayer group working for revival around the globe. We invite every lay person to become God's ally in changing his or her corner of the world. Please write, and if you have a problem or concern you would like to share, please do let us know. You can email us at post at lefi.org or visit our website at www.lefi.org.